Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz and I am talking about coding today. Um, first of all, I went to Home Goods this weekend and I picked up plants. So you know I'm an adulting now because my background is much different than it used to be and like prettier. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll see. Um, so I am in adulting phase now because it's 2023. No, it's 2022, isn't it? Well, 2022, and we are going to be doing a React. So React is the fourth class in the She Code series here. Now, this is specifically geared towards women, so I apologize if you are a man, but apparently you're not allowed here. But honestly, I think you should like make a fake profile and try these classes because they're so good. And like it's taught by a man, so I'm just like really confused as to why it's so like female. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this video is sponsored by SheCodes because um, I talked with Matt and he gave me a discount on the class in order to film kind of my uh, reaction of the course. Um, get it? Reaction of React. <laughs> anyway, but uh, this is the, let's see, how much is this? This is the $399 course. Now that is expensive. Don't get me wrong. I've done every one of these courses. I've done the $99 one, the $700. I paid full price for these two. Like I was in it. And then I got discounts on these two um, from Matt himself, who's the CEO, who's a man, which by the way, that's why I think the guy should do this too. But this React course is similar to the other courses. It's slightly longer than the responsive, which I just got done with, which I'll link below. I'll link below all my reviews of the previous courses, but um, React is basically what I've heard is that it was made by Facebook and it's supposed to make JavaScript easier, kind of like how Bootstrap is for CSS and HTML, React is for JavaScript. So that is what I've heard so far. So this is the React course of SheCodes that I'm going to try out here. Now, since we're on React, here is the React official documentation online. This is what we will be learning in the class. What I heard is that we are going to be using the function or was it function? Yeah, the function version. I guess there's a couple different versions of React. There's some older ones that they used to um, a different way. And this is the newer one. I don't know what that means because obviously I haven't taken the class yet, but this is the official documentation um, of React. This is what I will be learning. Um, so that's kind of how this is going. Let's look inside the class. Now that we've gone over cost, React, all that, um, inside the class, we go to my workshops and I'm not sure if you guys can see, um, I mean, I couldn't find what was actually in the class until I bought it. So that's kind of why I want to show you what's inside the class. So I've already done the first two lessons here, um, but you start off, and this is an eight week course, is you have lesson one, two, and it goes on and on. So it looks like the first week is really just what is React, React and HTML, React and CSS, React components, properties. So it looks like introduction to advanced React. So we have some advanced stuff, React states, forms, events. Then the third week, it looks conditional rendering, loops, Ajax. I've heard of Ajax. Um, it sounds like an API something, something API potentially. So I'm just kind of guessing, prompt, preparing myself as you will. And then we have terminal, create, react app, debugging. I don't know what MP, NPM means, react hosting, which I'm assuming we're going to be using Netlify as we did with the other projects. And then it looks like there's a weather project and then um, a more official weather project. Oh, wait, there's more and a dictionary search. Okay. We're going to be doing a lot apparently. Oh, there's more dictionary. Okay, so there's a lot happening. So it looks like there's some sort of dictionary project and a weather app project, which we did in SheCodes Plus. So it seems like we're just gonna add some React to it, whatever that means, maybe make the code a little more simpler. Um, but overall, that is what is in this course, but I'm super excited to try it. Um, and how I'm sticking to this is I actually have a tracker here, which I will link below. I did a video on how I was planning on doing my own semester. I am working full time. So I'm doing the eight week class, which is five hours of coding a week. So I have um, some goals here. This is like 
my own semester. This is nothing official, this is just what I decided to track my goals this year, is to do kind of more fun ways, these the books I'm going to read. And then here I am on Monday. Um, this is the first day that I'm signing up, and as you can see, I have Re the React course blocked out for each one of these days, so I am committed. I am going to be done on week 10, and I will have finished the React course. So today I'll put a check mark once I feel like I'm done with today, and then I will just keep kind of tracking it like that. So that's how I'm going to keep myself accountable, and I also put when the homework is due on the following Mondays. So each week you have homework, so this is week one, and then I will have week one homework due on January 10th. And so that is how I'm kind of keeping myself accountable is just doing a couple classes a day. So I'll probably do this one and this one. I might do one more today and then do maybe one class on tomorrow, Tuesday, one class Wednesday, a couple of classes on the weekdays and then finish the homework on Saturday. So um, that's how I've been doing the rest of the classes and it's worked really great. So let's dive into what exactly goes in when you do a lesson. So if we look at this continue lesson, you basically learn first. So there's a video, you watch said video, it's like six to 10 minutes. Then you go and you do the challenge. So you watch the challenge video and then you submit here with a solution. And then once you're done, you watch a solution video. Now the solution video is not um, open to me because I haven't actually done the challenge yet. <laughs> so it's a three-step process. It's great because you can basically try out like little mini testers and then you have the homework. So you don't have to like wait to the homework to make sure you're doing shit right. Um, so it's it's great way to learn. It's worked great on the other lessons. And what you can do after is you can get this React certificate and link it to your LinkedIn. So I'll put my LinkedIn below and you can kind of see how that looks like for my previous classes. So I'm super excited for that. And then I will be doing the 100 days of code challenge which um, if you're following me on Twitter, you can see me post every day, hold me accountable. Um, so if you wanna do the 100, day, 100 days of code challenge with me, I might do a video on it, um, but I'm starting it today. And so you can follow me on my Twitter, I'll link it below and you can kind of check out and follow with me or do it with me. So uh, options there. So I look forward to seeing you guys um, tweet at me on Twitter and comment below if you have any questions about she codes and my journey because this is the last class of she codes i will be officially done with the whole program unless it comes out with more classes which is possible so i will see you guys next time